What's up guys, it's Lawrence again and I'm here to bring you another review. Today we're going to be looking at the Air Vapor Max Plus. The Air Vapor Max Plus is a conglomeration of two different types of Air Maxes that have released from two different time periods. The first one is the Air Max Plus, which released in 1998 with the idea of tuned air. Definitely something innovative at that time just because almost every single year there was only one major Air Max release and the Air Max Plus was a second addition to that in 1998. Uh, what it does is it takes the upper of the Air Max Plus and combines it with the bottom and the sole and midsole of the Vapor Max. And Nike's been actually doing this pretty often uh, with a lot of their latest releases where they're mashing up the Air Max 97 with a different sole from the 95s. And sometimes these matchups work, the other times they don't. So how does the Air Vapor Max Plus stack up? Let's find out. So today we're going to be reviewing two different colorways. The first one is the black, which is the triple black version that you can see here. And then there is another cargo green version that you can see here with gold accents. The official colorway for the black version is called black slash dark gray. The official colorway for the green version is a cargo khaki and sequoia clay green. Let's start with the black version. So on the lateral side of the shoe, you're going to see a cage that looks like plastic and it's made out of a shiny plastic. It's very sturdy and it's going to remind us of the Presto. The major things to note here in terms of what the upper is made of, it's made out of a neoprene material that also has indents and deboss marks to make it also look very wavy. On the top left of the shoe, close to where the heel is, you'll see a Nike mark. What is very notable about this specific pair is the black version as well as the Air Vapor Max Plus in general has a midsole. So if you compare this to the Vapor Max, there typically is not a midsole. Here you can actually see the midsole here and then the Vapor Max bottom below it. Uh, this fundamentally changes a lot of different things and once we kind of get to the comfort portion of this you'll see the differences. On the front side of the shoe you're going to see more of the indents and the debossed pieces of the neoprene as well as a toe guard in the front that's shiny. There is also 3M marks if you look at the middle that are shiny and those little ticks go up to the side up to the tongue of the shoe. And it is a detachable tongue unlike the Vapor Max which has a attached slash detached tongue at the same time. Moving over to the lateral side of the shoe, you're going to see more of the neoprene uh, with the boss pieces of it, as well as a plastic shiny cage. The thing of note here is the, the shiny part over here that you're about to see uh, wraps from the front uh, on both the lateral as well as the medial side through the middle, and I will show the, the bottom in a second. Um, finally, moving over to the back, there is the VM logo, which is really cool. If you kind of remember the shoe from the past, uh, it actually normally says TN for tuned air, and so because it is a Vapor Max version of this that has come out many years later, it says VM instead, and I really like that fact. And, and anyone that's been a major fan of Air Maxes in general uh, will know this logo well. On the insole of the shoe, you're also going to see the yellow Vapor Max logo, and the midsole from the Air Max Plus also is prevalent here. Flipping over to the sole of the shoe, this is classic Vapor Max. And so there's really not much difference here between a regular Vapor Max sole and the Vapor Max sole that's available on the Air Vapor Max Plus, which is a good thing because I actually love the Vapor Max sole. For the most part, this is a very typical air unit for the Vapor Max. And the cool part about this is obviously a combination of both the Vapor Max outsole and an Air Max Plus midsole. And so the idea behind it hopefully is to create better comfort, but I'll get to that in a second. On the khaki version of the shoe, it's very much the same. The differences with the midsole is unlike the blacked out version over there, you'll see that this is much a grayer color along the Vapor Max sole. So what that ultimately means is it's much more see-through than the black version, which I think is interesting. Going from the toe guard of the shoe all the way up to the top of the laces, you're going to see a reflective gold material, which I really like just because I haven't seen anything like this in the past. On the side, instead of that black mark that you see on, on the black version, you're going to see a gold hint that runs through here and goes through the lateral bottom of the shoe and connects to the medial side as well. And I really, really like that about the shoe just because there's there's a split middle of it and, and there is a major difference there. One thing that I did forget to mention on the black pair is on both pairs, there's actually a, a piece of suede that runs along the top where the Vapor Max logo is. This is extremely soft and very well made and very high quality. And there's also a heel tab over here that you can use to put the shoes on easier. From a comfort level perspective, these are extremely, extremely comfortable. So if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you're gonna know that Vapor Max is one of my favorite shoes. 
Uh, the Vapor Max Utility uh, is also something that I can link below in terms of my review there. But out of all three, so comparing the Vapor Max alone, the Vapor Max Utility, and finally these Vapor Max Air Max Pluses, these are by far the most comfortable. The midsole from the Air Max Plus combined with the Vapor Max is absolutely amazing. You get that bounciness that you don't get from the other air units uh, from you know 95, 97s, and 98s into a sole that's extremely, extremely flexible. And we all love the Vapor Max sole because it's based on two different parts. And so I can actually imagine, only imagine this getting much more comfortable over time uh, because there's not that huge air unit that's on the bottom that, that's relatively rigid on almost all, all Air Maxes. This is a major innovation for me because it brings comfort to another level. While I love the Vapor Max, I can agree with a lot of people that they don't find them comfortable because they're they're hard and springy. This adds both the hard and springiness in terms of the love that I feel for the Vapor Max sole with something that's a little more cushioned along the midsole. And so this for me is, is a major difference. And I think it's a phenomenal shoe and I, I definitely recommend it for that reason alone. The Sizing on the shoe is true to size. I, uh, I I did not have to run a half size up that I typically do with Vapor Max, uh, and the 95s and 97s I also typically have to run a half size up. And so true to size is what I would ultimately recommend. My final thoughts on the shoe: it's an extremely extremely good collaboration between the Air Max Plus and the Vapor Max. It actually is probably one of my favorite shoes that I've tried on in a long time. One of the main issues with kind of the retros that have released with Air Maxes is their comfort level is honestly lacking. While I love the styles, it just isn't necessarily there for me from a comfort level perspective. By combining the old, tech, old, old style with new technology, I really feel like there's a home run here. And so with these two pairs, I would highly recommend them for the most part. Um, I obviously need to do some wear testing, but if you watch my other videos, which I can also link below, the Vapor Max is a great sole and will be lasting and durable. So I'm not too worried about the longevity of the shoe. The neoprene is very stretchy and extremely comfortable. Uh, if you ever have any neoprene shoes from either Y3 or several other companies, you're gonna understand that the neoprene is going to be good. The only issue with neoprene is its breathability. Uh, if you have a sweaty foot during the summer, this isn't gonna help solve that. And so this is something that you have to realize and understand when you buy the shoe. But from a comfort level perspective and springability perspective and really the the, the lineage of, of Vapor Max as well as Air Max Plus, this is definitely a thumbs up for me. And like always, if you like this review, definitely give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. I'll be putting links to other reviews for both the Vapor Max as well as other Air Maxes below so that you can have a, a review of those other shoes as well. So what are your thoughts on the mashups that the Nike has been releasing? Do you give them a thumbs up or thumbs down? Cop or drop? Let me know in the comments. Would love to get your feedback. Uh, I will probably be keeping only the khaki pair just because I don't feel like I need two cares, pairs of these. But I really, really love the silhouette. And so black shoes are not something I need too much of. And then having a green and gold shoe with that gold accent to me uh, looks really, really darn awesome and relatively unique. And so hopefully uh, I'll get some wear out of that over time. And that's it. This is the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus in the triple black colorway, as well as a cargo khaki colorway. And now for the on feed. See you guys next time.